Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. This reading will be from January 15th through the 31st. Of course, my readings are timeless, so whenever you see them is when you're meant to view them, um, is when it's meant for you. Okay, so Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? If my readings resonate, please like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. This card wanted to pop out before I was even done with the introduction. So, Aquarius, I feel like you are pure magic at the moment. Something is happening that's very, very important for you right now. I feel like you're manifesting true magic. Yeah, allow unlimited abundance. You know, something's coming through for you. I think you may be hitting your sweet spot, you know. Um, tell me more about Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Tell me more about Aquarius. Courage and bravery. Yeah, so I feel like you're fearless at the moment, Aquarius. I feel like you have intentions on doing something, and you're not going to stop till it's done. Um, but I feel like you're moving forward very fearlessly. You're, whatever moves you're making are going to bring in this abundance. They're going to bring in this true magic. Everything you do, I feel, turns to gold. Aquarius. When I'm doing your reading, I, I hear that song. Touch a full leaf clover. You know, I, I feel like you. this is a lucky time for you. You know? This is a very lucky time for you. Tell me more about Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? We have the two of wands. You're, you're making plans for the future. I feel like you have two different roads you could go down and you're anticipating on following your path. You're on some kind of path of discovery, Aquarius. But I feel like you're you're definitely planning. You're planning. You're in the planning stage of something, and something is going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of new wealth, new love, new, you know, joy, happiness. I feel like whatever you're doing, you're very excited about. You're very passionate about this. Um, whatever you're putting this energy into. You're very passionate about this. It's a new beginning for you. And I feel like you're you're definitely in the thought process about it. This is something that you've been thinking about doing. Something that you feel it's now the right time to make your move. You know? And of course, the Ace of Cups is your overall energy. So this is definitely some kind of new beginning, new venture, new... Um, something new that you're going through and you're trusting yourself you have full trust in yourself that this situation is going to work out for your greater good Aquarius you're following your intuition you're not being blocked by any um, unanswered questions you're just moving forward I feel like you you kind of question yourself and you're like okay this is how I do that you're, you're constantly getting answers to your questions like that, you know. You're not hesitating. You're not holding yourself up in any way. So I, I really feel like this is, this is something that is very prosperous for you. If this is some kind of work, if this is some kind of venture you're going through, I feel like you're going to have a lot of success. Um, this could also be new love. This could also just be you pursuing your dreams. Um, but I feel like it's all going to work out very, very, very much so. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. I feel like you're growing into this magical time, you know. And I feel like you're taking it all in. 
you're moving with stride <laughs> it's going to bring you a lot of abundance it's going to bring you a lot of abundance a lot of happiness a lot of growth whatever these plans you're making whatever these future thoughts that you're having whichever path you go on it's going to lead to wealth stability long-term longevity longevity I should say but this is something that's going to be very abundant for you I see a lot of good things coming in for you this month Aquarius because I feel like you put a lot of thought into it you've worked out all the kinks you know um, I feel like when a question comes to you or when someone comes to you with some kind of with some kind of question you're like defending that on the spot you're like protecting whatever this is I feel like you may not even be telling someone else what you're doing this may be something that you're holding to yourself that you're keeping very secretive but I feel like this is they're all gonna see it when you come out with this abundance you know but I feel like this is something that you're holding close to you this is something that you're being very secretive you're protecting this um, this thing that you're working on you're protecting it yeah I feel like you you have so many options so many avenues that you can pursue these are opportunities that you have that are coming forward you have the ace of cups right under it you have the seven of cups so the these opportunities are going to lead to great abundance and I feel like a lot of these you may not pursue every one of these opportunities but I feel like the opportunity that you choose is going to be the right one for you. And it's going to lead to a lot of abundance. A lot of joy, passion, satisfaction. Um, very interesting. I feel like when I, one opportunity doesn't work out, Aquarius, you just move on to the next. Um, you don't really hesitate. And I feel like that's what's bringing you so much success. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. When this reading started out with you, you are pure magic. It wasn't joking. You are pure magic at the moment. You are fearless. You're running courageously you know to create whatever it is you're creating and I feel like you're going to be very successful this is going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of joy a lot of satisfaction abundance you're going into this new year fearless you're out to win and you know I feel like there's no way you can't very interesting tell me more about Aquarius the nine of Pentacles you could be doing this all on your own this could also bring you a lot of new income a lot of new investment opportunities if this is work I feel like this is this is going to influence all of your financial opportunities you know this could also mean that you're working alone it could also mean that you are focused more on work so you really don't have time to play or time for love at the moment um, but I feel like you're gaining a lot you're definitely gaining a lot this is going to help you move into this next level you know I feel like this is luxury this is you doing things on your own 
making your own way, becoming financially stable, you know, um, pursuing your solo pleasures, you know. Um, very interesting. Your pure magic at the moment, definitely. Your pure magic at the moment. And I had to get an extra card because I, I just want to keep this going. I want to know what's going on with Aquarius. But I feel like you're taking back your control. I feel like, you know, during 2022, you had a lot of patience. You were waiting a lot. And I feel like 2023, you're just... You have a fire underneath you that's like getting you moving, getting you flowing. You found your sweet spot. Um, you're definitely balanced and flowing into whatever this is. And this is, you have the justice card at the bottom. So all of this is from the hard work that you've put in. All of this is your karma. This is your reward coming back around to you. This is your abundance tenfold. Um, something's coming back around to you for all the good that you put into it, you know? Let's see. Oh, well, no, we're going to clarify a little bit. I kind of lost my track of mind because Aquarius, this is, wow. This is a great reading. Okay, Spirit, what is this Two of Wands for Aquarius? What is this Two of Wands? Tell me more about this Two of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you have the option of two paths. I feel like this is a risk that you're going to take, Aquarius, because I feel like with this Five of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, you're going into this new year kind of feeling lacking, kind of feeling left out. So you want to know where to go with your next opportunity. So I feel like you find a path and you kind of jump on it. And that's where it's leading you. I feel like you're no longer feeling like you have to live without something. I feel like you're, you can have everything that you totally need. Tell me more about this moon card for Aquarius. Tell me more about the moon. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. So uh, someone is coming in to give you advice. I feel like maybe someone came in to give you advice on um, some kind of investment or some kind of opportunity. And I feel like you're jumping on this situation. You feel like this is the right time. This is the right place. Let's jump on it with the ace of cups we have the ace of wands wow so this is definitely a new passion that you're pursuing a new opportunity something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance a lot of overflow and i feel like you're very passionate about it you're very driven i feel like once you start on it you're not going to stop this is definitely definitely a new beginning for this year this is beautiful energy this is going to take you into some kind of new project, new inspiration. And you could be a creator of some sort. But I feel like what you're doing is very prosperous. Very prosperous. We have a bunch of cards fall out. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm constantly dropping things. Tell me more about this. Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups for Aquarius? The Page of Wands. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like you're very passionate about this. This is like, the pages are the youngest of the, the court cards. The page is like a teenager, you know. They're coming into these new ideas, new thoughts, new activities you know and I feel like this page is bringing you this new project this new creative idea um, it could also be someone working with you to bring you this idea um, but I feel like this is a lot of good news that's coming to you this is definitely 
some kind of communication that's coming in that's going to bring a lot of good news and it's going to enhance your passion about this project, you know? Uh, tell me about this High Priestess spirit. What is this High Priestess? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to bring you a lot of stability and I feel like you trust in that. This is going to open up your resources. It's going to dramatically change your situation. And I feel like, you know, she's holding that pinnacle up and she's just studying it. So you may be studying something right now. Um, but I feel like you're running with an idea that's going to really take off and bring you so much abundance, so much happiness in this situation. Um, Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Yeah. The Ten of Swords. So we have the Ten of Pentacles on the Ten of Swords. So Tens can be very, very important for you. The tens are completion. Tens are something going to into a new cycle. So you're definitely in this new cycle of so many changes so many things that are ending and beginning and i feel like that has to do with your your pentacles that has to do with this this coming through you know um To have a 10 on top of a 10, you're definitely completing a cycle. Definitely going into some brand new journey, brand new discovery. I feel like something had to end so that this would, or you had to totally change your thinking in order for this to work out. But you, you had to lay something to rest in order for this situation to work the way it's working with the seven of wands we have the four of pentacles so i feel like that you're definitely recovering from the situation where you're you're guarding your ideas you're guarding you know something you're setting up your boundaries you are really um defending what it is that that you're doing I feel like you're keeping it to yourself you're not letting anyone know your actions you're not letting anyone know where you're going with this you know you're keeping it secret you're not telling anybody else you're kind of holding it for just yourself what is this seven of cups tell me about this seven of cups spirit yeah, the Eight of Wands. So definitely these opportunities, you're, you're taking hold of these opportunities and you're taking action. You're not letting an opp opportunity get by you that's worthwhile. You're, you're running with that. And I feel like you're going to get a lot of good news about one or more of these opportunities that you're pursuing. This could be in love, but I'm really feeling like this is in business. This is something that you're pursuing. This is a new project. Uh, this could be maybe a new job or a new, new career. Um, but however, for a few of you, it may be love. You may be pursuing an opportunity to gain new love, to gain new perspective, a new passion. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Three of Cups. Yes, so with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, you're surrounding yourself. You're celebrating. You're having a lot of celebrations. I feel like a lot of people are around you, and they're. it's a very happy occasion. But I feel like you may be throwing parties. You may be um, networking having interactions. You may be going out on dates, but I feel like you're surrounding yourself. It's making you very happy. What is this Nine of Pentacles? The Two of Swords.
So with the Two of Swords on the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like there's something you may need to compromise. You definitely have a decision to make. And it may be a hard decision. This may be something that may be hard for you to kind of come to a conclusion of. Um, but I feel like it's necessary. It's necessary for you to move forward. But it's going to be a choice. And it may be a hard choice. And, you know, with this Nine of Pentacles, for some of you, I feel like maybe you're forced to compromise. Maybe you're forced to make a decision. Very interesting. Um, tell me about this Temperance card. Tell me more about this Temperance card. The Fool. Yeah, this is taking you on a brand new journey. You're discovering a lot of new things, Aquarius. You're discovering new ways to do things. You're taking more risk. You're being fully supported. Um, but I feel like you're finally able to relax and just take the ride. You know, I feel like you're just discovering a new way of doing things. This is a new journey. A lot of new beginning with the, the Aces, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of new beginning here. There's a lot of new... I, I feel like you have a lot of new things on your horizon. You know, you're making a lot of discoveries. And you have the sun on the bottom. Definitely, definitely a lot of happiness. I feel like this may have been the happiest reading that I have done for you yet, Aquarius. But this reading is pure magic. That's how I'm feeling. This reading is pure magic. Whatever this is that you're doing is very magical. This new beginning is going to change everything. Everything. Tell me more about this for Aquarius spirit. Tell me more about this. Power and intention. Yeah, you're gaining your power. You're gaining your power. Where you thought your power was lost, your power wasn't lost. You're totally transforming. This is definitely new beginnings, new interactions. Expect miracles, Aquarius. Your miracles are on the way. You're going to see those miracles. Give me some messages for Aquarius. Give me some messages for Aquarius, please. Trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Miracles. Definitely. Trust. And I feel like you're doing that with this high priestess in the moon. You know, you're trusting that everything's going to work out. Transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps into being given. Dance with the universe. Yeah, you're dancing with the universe. Everything that you are manifesting is coming through. And it's like coming through fast. It's like... This Eight of Wands here. Everything is following through. It's like it's magically um, falling into place. A lot of magic. A lot of transformation. A lot of abundance. You're really going for what you know, Aquarius. Definitely beautiful reading. Tell me what 
Aquarius should focus on? What should Aquarius focus on? Peace. Okay, Aquarius, focus on your peace. With all this activity that you're doing, all this manifesting, all these things coming through, take time to be at peace with yourself. I am a being of love. I release all negative energy. So definitely, be at peace during this time. Um, follow your heart. Follow the universe's lead. And, you know, pure magic will happen. Definitely. And this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Um, and also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And until the next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.